Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Craig, and this is Off Bravo. And today we're looking at the Target exclusive Buzzworthy Bumblebee Jungle Mission 3 pack. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to buy any more of the Rise of the Beast figures, but I saw this exclusive 3 pack sitting on the shelf. Only one left, so I was like, I might as well get it. So I thought I'd check it out. So it comes with Cheetor, Nightbird, and Wheeljack? Wheeljack. That's Wheeljack. Okay, we'll uh, take his word for it. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go ahead and take a detailed look at each one. First up, we're looking at Cheetor, and I think he actually looks pretty good. This is one of the ones that kind of convinced me to buy the whole set. He's got the maximal symbol on his chest right there, so that's pretty cool. He comes with a reformatted brain gun, which I think is pretty neat. And stows away pretty well in the beast mode, we'll see that later. And the tail actually has a knife hidden underneath it, so I like that. So they made the tail weapon pretty cool. The head, they kind of made it look more like a cat face. You know, more kind of like, more like a Tigertron type. But otherwise, not too bad. And you can see, he actually looks really good. I kind of, if you'd put some more, you know gray paint on the techno elements. I think you could probably have made him into a alternate beast machines Cheetor. I think it'd been pretty good. I'll bring in the kingdom. And you can see although the transformation scheme is similar, it's not the same, but it does rhyme. So but you can take a look at him. You see, there's no there's no shared parts. You can see the way that the uh, cat bat cat feet stow are just completely different, and it's just I think he looks really good. I mean, it's not going to win for the you know Beast Wars Cheetor or the G1 Cheetor just because the the face isn't right, but. You could convince me that this could be like an alternate universe Beast Machines Cheetor. So, let's go ahead and look at the Beast Mode. And here we have the <laughs> Buzzworthy Bumblebee Cheetor in his Beast Mode. And I think he actually looks really good. I mean, you can see some of the techno elements. I think it'd been better if they'd been picked out in silver, kind of like the tail area here. But otherwise, he looks pretty good. I mean, the uh, even the hands sticking out underneath really don't bother me that much. It just looks pretty good. You do have the uh, maximal stamp on his head. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little distracting, but it's not too bad. The brain gun stows underneath here. You see it down in there. So I like that. So everything stows pretty well, and it's not just animal with guns sticking out the side. It actually stows all really good. Let's go ahead and bring in the kingdom by comparison. And... I actually like the cheetah mode better. Honestly, I like the cheetah mode here better than here. I like the way that the legs are handled a lot better. And just the the whole form of it. I like the head better. It's less cartoony. And I think they actually did a better paint job on the head. So if this had been done in the Beast Wars aesthetic, I think I would have made it the new winner, honestly. But as it is... He'll be a uh, alternate Beast Machines or Techno Organic or even Trans Tech, whatever. But he's not going to be the new IDW or G1. That's still going to be the Kingdom. So let's go ahead and go on to the next one. Next up, we got Nightbird, and she looks pretty neat. She is very kibblicious. There's just uh, no getting around it. And I don't like that the ankle tilt is really a transformation joint. So it's a little bit of cheating there. Uh, she comes with a sword here with a little bit of purple inlay. And the claws here that split up. And the way they stow into the car mode is actually pretty cool. So, but despite the kibble, kibble it's not too bad. Uh, I don't like how kind of squarish the legs and arms are. Like the only proportion she has is in her chest. Everything else is just skinny, blocky, like standard robot. But I mean, overall, though, it's not not too horrible. 
go ahead and bring in the current winner, which is the Legends Nightbird. And of course, the Legends Nightbird pretty much looks like it walked out of G1, except with a backpack. You take that car backpack off and the car mode away, and she looks like she walked right off the screen. So, definitely not going to win for G1, but for the Rise of the Beast, it probably works. So, not really too much to say. It's not going to win because it's a completely different aesthetic and the Legends is just pretty much perfect. So, <laughs> let's go look ahead and look at the car mode. And here we have Nightbird in her car mode and it looks pretty cool. Very dragstery. And I was commenting before how I liked how the weapon stowed and I do like it because it makes the sword her spoiler back there. And basically this is the claw weapon just split in two and stuck in the back. And so I think it works actually really well. I mean, I really don't mind the color scheme the way it is. It does have visible head syndrome down there. But I really don't mind her car mode. Her car mo mode is pretty solid. We'll go ahead and bring in the Legends here. Just get a side by side. And the Legends, of course, is the RC mold. So it's RC. So this is Nightbird's first original mold, because every other Nightbird on the market is just a recolor of RC. But with the aesthetics in mind, this one is still, the robot mode of this one is still more G1 and IDW, so it's still going to win. But I think this one is still pretty neat. There's a few flaws in the robot mode, but overall it's not a bad figure. All right. Let's finish it out with a wheel jack. And last up we have wheel jack. Uh, I, it's just not wheel jack, honestly. If they'd have named him, you know, given made him a new character, I think it would have been better than just than to call him wheel jack. Especially since when you're coming off the Bumblebee movie where you had this. I mean this is a wheel jack. This could pass as an IDW wheel jack. This is Elton John bot. In fact, I would rather they called it that than wheel jack. Well, at least he got taller. Anyway, we'll turn around here. He actually packs away pretty well. I uh, just wish those wheels would, would uh, fold in or something. Just fold down something, but they're just solidly on there. But otherwise, he packs away pretty well. He comes with his gun. With a really long handle. Well, it's because he needs it to be able to stow in vehicle mode. Yep. And overall, he's just kind of generic. Just kind of white and gold. Some black. And it's really kind of a very blah color scheme I mean then they gave him Elton John glasses <laughs> it's yeah and one and one thing that really bothers bothers me about the deco is for the fists they literally only painted the top bottom the sides everything is still the gold plastic but they just painted the top you couldn't just dip the whole fist in paint anyway I don't really hate it as a toy. If they'd called it a different character, I probably would be fine with it. Because, I mean, how many VW bus Transformers do we have? But otherwise, it's not Will Jack. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the vehicle mode. One last note before we go into vehicle mode. We'll go ahead and put him next to the current winner for G1. And, of course, it still loses. So... Now we'll go to vehicle mode. Finally, here in robot mode, we have the buzzworthy Will Jack, and he's a stylized VW bus, which is about the the major saving grace of him. Because I did, I have a soft spot for VW buses, so it looks pretty good. I think to get the most VW bus detail, you actually got to pull up these panel panels back here to actually see the lights. I kind of wish they'd had that on the outside, but it's all done to serve the robot mode. But overall, it's a VW bus. 
And like I said, the extra long handle is so that it can mount back here. You can you can put it up here pretty well, but you can stow it back here and have it pretty secure. It's kind of at a slant, like it's a slight angle, but that's the way that that hole is back there. So a little weird, not too bad. All right, bring in some actual wheel jacks. Here's the Bumblebee movie wheel jack, and you can see. The Bumblebee Wheeljack is definitely a lot sexier. I mean, this is sleek, sports scar, I mean, almost Veyron vibes versus a VW bus. But we got a VW bus now. Yay. <laughs> anyway. Oh, bring in the Kingdom. Or the Earth Rise, sorry. And, again, this is the Lancia. This is the bus. You can tell drastically different scales. And just look at those. But overall, it's not going to win because it doesn't look for IDW G1 because it doesn't look anything like Wheeljack. But it's probably going to be the Rise of the Beast Wheeljack. We've already seen kind of the cut scene with RC side gunning out the side of them. But I just really wish I'd named him something else. I'd, I'd be a lot more enthusiastic about it if this had been like some new character that turns into a VW bus. That's pretty cool. But this is what we got for a wheeljack. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. So, this is Starscream in the Jets. Starscream! <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Although, there aren't too many left. Please like. Share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell, and I'll see y'all later.